Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about moving to Thailand. How long does it take for Thailand to actually feel normal? Well, the first feeling you have is before you get here. It's a time of excitement. You're ready to go. You're looking up everything Thailand, what to do, what to bring, what to wear, what not to do, what you should do. The list goes on. Make sure that your expectations actually match reality, meaning once you get here, don't let that excitement turn into frustration because it easily can. So if you're imagining that when you move here, it's going to be like a vacation every day. Let's say you did come here for a vacation, had a really good time. You want to move back here so you can party. It's going to be like this every day. That's probably not very realistic. So please don't set those kind of expectations for yourself when you come here to Thailand. And don't let social media posts that you'll see on YouTube videos, Instagram, you name the platform, that just show that life overseas is just wonderful. Living in as, as an expat is amazing. And I'm so glad I moved here. It's going to be different case by case. And it really all depends on you. So you just keep that in mind. Just because one person posts a video saying that everything's great, awesome. No, life is, the realities of life happen here just like they happen in other places and if you are a miserable person in your home country more than likely you will be a miserable person here in Thailand so the normal struggles of everyday life don't end just because you're moving here to Thailand you will have different struggles than you had before yes things can be better I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom I just want to get you mentally prepared for moving to Thailand so we're going to say month one is going to be your month of frustration simply because you've got to learn everything for the first time. Okay, for month two through five, let's call that the adjustment period. Have you ever heard of that term, the grass is greener on the other side? Well, you'll quickly find out in those months that the grass isn't necessarily greener on the other side. The grass is just different. Now, on one hand, you got what you asked for. You're living the Thai life, but what you also got to remember is you've got a lot of other issues and things that you had to contend with that you did not have to contend with back home, such as things like visa struggles or also the language barrier, different foods that you may have to get used to, being away from your family and friends, and let's not forget the climate. Some expats feel that they are drowning in the unfamiliarity of their new environment here in Thailand. I've met a lot of expats that were so excited to get here and within three months they're gone. Most of them are missing friends too much and they're emotionally stuck between two countries, their home country and now Thailand. Okay, now we're gonna get into month six. This is the, you got this month. Now by month six, you've already developed a routine. You know where to get your groceries. You know where your favorite restaurants are. You've learned a few phrases so it doesn't intimidate you as much to get out of the house and interact with the Thai culture. You figured out your public transportation just a little bit more and you understand the currency. You can look at it and instantly know what denomination is what. So I would definitely say by month six, you are starting to feel normal here. Now, not a hundred percent normal. Things are just less weird. If I could put it that way for my wife and I, we've been living here for about two and a half years. And we would easily say that by the time we forgot that we were living in Thailand, I would say that at least took a year. And sometimes you're just driving down the road. You're used to the traffic. You're used to the people. You're used to the accents. You're used to everything. And sometimes you just forget you're in Thailand. You're like, I forgot I was in Thailand. So when that happens, I'm going to call that the super normal. That's just when you're basically living here. You're fine. No issues whatsoever. So now that you're here, let's talk about some of the things that you want to practice so that you don't fall back into missing your home, where you're from and the culture that you came from too much. The first thing is make sure you stay in touch with your family back home, out of sight, out of mind. You may have heard this before. When you're away from friends, they start to forget about you a little bit. When you're away from relatives, you're not as close with them anymore. So try to keep constant 
communication to your family members, do video chats, schedule them ahead of time so they know exactly when they're going to be. If they cancel you on a video chat, well, that's on them, but make sure you do all that you can to stay in touch with your friends and relatives back home. Also, while you're here in Thailand, celebrate festivals and holidays that you would have back home. If you celebrated Christmas back home, celebrate Christmas here. If you're an American, you had Thanksgiving back home, have Thanksgiving here. Try to make your life here as convenient to you as you can. Now, some people may come here and say, I'm done with all that stuff, done. I want to embrace the Thai culture. I ain't going to miss nothing. Well, then obviously you don't have to do some of these things. But for those of you who are struggling just a little bit, these are some things that might help you. Also, make it a priority to learn the language every day. Try to learn a new word, something that will help you every day. After a while, the months become years, the years become decades, and you will start to learn more and more and more Thai that will really help you in your everyday life. And you may look back and go, man, I, I remember when I first got here, I was trying to learn how to say hello and thank you. Now I can just about say most things that I need to do. And if you really want to go the extra mile, try to go to an actual school and learn the language. Another thing I would say to do within that first six months, try to find the places that the restaurants, places you like to hang out the most. So things seem somewhat normal. You got your normal hangout. They're used to seeing you. You're used to seeing them, you know exactly what you want to order. So in other words, to develop a new life here, you're going to have to get out of your house. You're going to need to get out and mix in there with everyone at first. It's going to feel uncomfortable. No one knows who you are. The ties are looking at you funny. You're going to think the expats or foreigners that are here are going to look at you. They're not going to know who you are. So the more you can get out and meet people and become uncomfortable, the quicker you will be comfortable. So make sure that you make some sort of connection with other expats in Thailand while you're here, especially if you can find one from the same country you are from, because that way you can ask them things. It may be things like, oh, I need to get my air conditioner fixed. Where can I get that done? Or I'm having a visa issue. Oh, I had that too. How did you overcome it? So in other words, expats have expat problems. So if you become friends with other expats, then more than likely you two may share some of the same problems and one can help you overcome some of the problems you have. And in the future, you can help others. So if you are contemplating moving here, and I would assume you would be since you're watching this video, don't let fear stop you from moving here, but just make sure that you are mentally ready because it's all about being mentally ready to move here, that you've uh, got a game plan, you know what your goals are here in Thailand, you know what you want to do, you know the lifestyle, you know how you're going to accomplish it, accomplish it, you know where you're going to move to, you know what kind of accommodation you want to stay in, you've done your research on the laws and the visa that you want to acquire when you're here, you've got a game plan for acquiring that visa. So trying to help you with all these things, if you do need one-on-one -on -one help, make sure to go down to the buy me a coffee link down in the description. There is a link to have a video chat with me one-on-one -on -one so we can discuss you coming to Thailand and I can try to answer some of your questions for you. If you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. We sure would appreciate it. And if you're looking for information more on Thailand, it's on our site. Just look through the videos. So anyway, that's all I have for you right now. And until next time, kap kun kap.